Alright, I've declared this year the year of the Sotal, and there's Sotal sticks popping up all over town. They're really not good to uh, pick right now. It takes about a year or two before they're weathered enough so that you want to pick them, and they'll eventually just fall down by themselves, otherwise you have to cut them down. But they do make excellent walking sticks because they're very light and they are very strong, and if you finish them properly, they will last a lifetime. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Very first thing you want to do is cut it to length, and the length should be approximately shoulder height, a little bit longer if you hike in hilly terrain because you want it long so you can poke forward, and maybe a little bit shorter if you're just doing flat ground walking, but generally about shoulder height. So how do you cut it? With a saw. Someone asked me that once. You cut with a saw. And never do by hand what you can do with power. Simple. Cut off both ends till it's the right height. Let's see, I probably need another four inches off the bottom. Perfect. Done. Cut to length. Now we just have to make it smooth. Ooh, look at that, shoulder height. Now we just have to make it smooth, which is pretty easy to do. You just remove these little leaf things with a knife. Pretty easy to do. Just use an ordinary paring knife. Just kind of scrape it along until you get all those leafy things off. Once you have all the leafy things off, then you want to sand it. Pretty simple. I'm going to use a rough gray sandpaper here. Does the job pretty quickly. Smooth it up nicely. <laughs> okay, once you have it all smoothed up, now it's ready to take a coat of stain. Choose your color. Any color. You like it light, you like it dark. You don't even have to stain it. And after you stain it, then you polyurethane it. I just use a semi-gloss polyurethane. And then after it's stained and polyurethaned, you have your finished stick, which looks kind of like this. This one's halfway done, haven't finished it yet. And you'll notice I have a little nail on the top and on the bottom because when I'm finishing it, I usually rest this against the wall somewhere and I don't want to touch in the ground so the uh, varnish doesn't get all messed up while you're making it. And then when you get done with that, you're almost done. I like to sign mine, by the way. This one I made recently, 2018. And then when you get done with that, you add a cane tip, and then you have your finished Sotal walking stick.